In the wake of Top Gun Maverick being hailed as a callback to old school action cinema, I want to bring attention to a film that was released the same year that, in my opinion, deserves the same praise. That's Ambulance, directed by Michael Bay. Like Top Gun Maverick, Ambulance has no superheroes, has very little CGI, and uses practical special effects to create as many action set pieces. I understand Michael Bay movies has their critics. I know most are loud, silly, and tonally all over the place. But you can't deny that most are fun and downright entertaining. I feel that Bay is at his best when he has budgetary limitations. When he is given too much free reign, his movies can become overstuffed and bloated. But when his resources are limited, his creativity really shines through. Ambulance is a remake of a 2005 Danish film. It was only given a budget of $40 million. Yet it looks better than most $200 million movies today. I'm just going to say it. Ambulance is one of Michael Bay's best films. In his top 5. Maybe top 3. I still think his absolute best is The Rock, but Ambulance is pretty damn close. The movie's practical action scenes rival that of Tom Cruise's Mission Impossible movies and Christopher Nolan's Tenet. Much has been said about Bay utilizing drones in the action scenes. Now, I don't have much to add to that topic other than that Michael Bay and drones are a match made in heaven. I saw similar drone work in Netflix's The Gray Man. In fact, almost too similar. I even looked at when production began on that film and it was shortly after Ambulance was released. So it's very possible the Russo brothers were inspired by Ambulance. Or it could just be a coincidence. Hollywood tends to hop on trends, or maybe the trend at the time was just to use drones for every action scene. What really impressed me about Ambulance was how well-crafted the suspense was. Jake Gyllenhaal is certainly the star of this movie. He takes center stage and goes all out in every scene. To compare to the movie's speed, in that movie, the suspense was whether or not the bus will explode. In Ambulance, the suspense is whether or not Jake Gyllenhaal will explode. Seriously, I was left wondering if he was just a thief who doesn't like violence or just a complete psychopath with a beautiful, trusting face. Yahya Abdul-Mateen continues his rise as a Hollywood leading man. He plays your every man character type who happens to be really jacked, but he's going through a hard time, so you feel sorry for him and just want him to win. I was really pleased to see Isla Gonzalez used for her acting ability. She is not overtly sexualized and is given a meaty role as strong, smart, a capable medic that is put into a dangerous game of chess where both her and a police officer's life is on the line. Having not seen the original, I cannot comment on how faithful the ending was, but what I can say is I was left guessing the entire time and was generally shocked at the many twists and turns before the climax. Unfortunately, this movie did not do well at the box office and has been forgotten. But I'm telling you right now, you are missing out on an action gem. I recommend doing a double feature with this and Top Gun Maverick. Both are great representations of action movies of 80s and 90s brought to the modern day. That is for this video guys, thanks for watching, it's my very first video essay. For more content like this, hit that subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment, and we'll see you again.